for any urbanite who dreams of escaping the city's crowded concrete jungle. This scene makes for a perfect backdrop to summer fantasies. These hypnotic shades of aquamarine are sure to send anyone into a dream state. Especially if you're up for some soul surfing. Taking in the vast open waters, meeting new people from all walks of life, and finding the perfect wave. Here, surfing is a way of life. There is much to be learned about oneself when pitted against the forces of nature. Surfing, or surfboarding, is a sport that involves riding on the crest or along the tunnel of a wave while standing or lying on the surfboard. The first records of surfing date back to the 18th century or before that, and the sport touched upon every aspect of Hawaiian society, including religion and myth. Hawaiian chiefs would demonstrate their leadership by the skills they possessed on the surf. The surfing culture has grown immensely since then. It is so widespread that many refer to it as some kind of cult or religion. As the tagline goes, only a surfer knows the feeling. In the Philippines, surfing became widely popular in the 1990s when the Surfers Association of the Philippines, or SAP, was founded and surfing competitions were organized. In the year 2005, a new organization, PSF, or the Philippine Surfing Foundations, held a year-long circuit, holding seven events in six destinations nationwide. With over 7,100 islands, the Philippines is home to countless surf spots, and perhaps scores more yet to be discovered, as most of the country remains unexplored. Unlike the more popular surfing destinations such as Hawaii, Australia, and California, these spots take a little more work to get to. The surf is not consistent and is mostly seasonal. The Philippines has a tropical climate with a dry season from April to June and a rainy season from June to October, with the hottest months being April and May. The Philippines lies within the world's most severe cyclone belt and is struck by around 15 cyclones per year. The East Coast, or Pacific side, is known to get the better, more dependable surf, although the South China Sea side on the west delivers as much punch in some areas. The better and more consistent surf surges in during the northeast monsoon, locally known as the Amihan, from November to April. On top of the monsoons, the arrival of typhoons can surely pump up the Philippine surfing scene. The typhoons usually blow in from the east of Mindanao and head in a northwest direction, hitting the southern part of Luzon and the islands between Luzon and the Pacific. Now the west coast of the Philippines is more inconsistent than the east coast. It relies on the winds through the Taiwan Straits during the northeast monsoon. This wind-created swell hits the west coast of Luzon. This swell can also be really good when the odd typhoon heads towards Hong Kong. So when is the best time to go surfing in the Philippines? Experts say it's best to try the east coast during the northeast monsoon. There are many spots to catch good waves for surfing in the Philippines. Though this is true, sometimes you may need a lot of luck to find the right place. But remember, your access to waves is really only limited by your own imagination and motivation and how keen you are to head off the beaten track.
the southern part of Luzon lies the province of Camarines Norte, the northernmost province of the Bicol region. It shares borders to the south with Camarines Sur and to the north with Quezon province. To the east is San Miguel Bay and to the north is the mighty Pacific Ocean. Surfing in Diet, the capital of Camarines Norte, is extremely popular with northern urbanites as it's relatively close to Manila. So you tend to get a lot of surfers based in Manila coming in during the weekends. Also in the Bicol region, off the coast of Legaspi City is Catanduanes, a rather out of the way island, but when the surf's up, it's worth the effort to get to. This island juts out in the Pacific Ocean, catching a great number of swells that make for wicked surfing. The best known wave on the island is called Majestics. Located off a breathtaking beach in the village of Puradan, which is in the middle of nowhere, two and a half hours from the capital of Virac. This powerful wave takes its best form during the months of September to November. The area around the surfing zone also offers a magnificent view of mountains and coves. Less than an hour's flight or a seven-hour bus ride from Metro Manila, the province of La Union in the Ilocos region features its own surf spots. Located on the northwest coast of the main island of Luzon, the surf is great for both novice and experienced riders and is rarely crowded. Thanks to a wide range of sites to choose from. On the eastern side of the Philippine archipelago, wedged between the island of Luzon to the north and the island of Leyte to the south, lies the island of Samar in the eastern Visayas. Samar surfing is located along the eastern shoreline of the island facing the Pacific Ocean. The powerful Pacific is the critical element in determining wave size and shape. The Samar surfing season is usually from September to March. The larger and more consistent waves arrive with the northeast monsoon. A typhoon off the coast really pushes the swell up. If you're the kind of person that likes to explore and surf locations that have never been surfed before, then Samar Surfing is the place for you. At the southeast tip of Samar Island, jutting out on a peninsula, is the small town of Giwan. Here you'll find a range of mellow beach breaks and challenging reef breaks that caters both to the beginners and veteran surfers alike. This is where the so-called surfer's paradise is found, Calicoan Island. Calicoan Island is poised to become one of the surfing hotspots in the country and one of the top tourist destinations in eastern Visayas. Now, the most famous Philippine surf spot is Shiragao, an island off the northeast tip of Mindanao, about 800 kilometers southeast of Manila. The eastern coastline faces directly out into the Pacific Ocean. Just off Shiragao Island lies the Philippine Trench. At depths of over 10,000 meters, it is the second deepest trench in the world after the Marianas Trench. So you can imagine what happens when the swell hits that island. Shiragao surfing is known throughout the world as a first-class quality break. It is for this reason that an international surfing competition is held on the island every last week of September. During May, a women's competition is also held. Surf season here starts in August, peaking from September-October to March. This season coincides with the occurrence of the northwest monsoons and the high frequency of typhoons in the Pacific Ocean. Amongst the Philippines' newest surfing destinations is the town of Lanusa in the province of Surigao del Sur. This rural and quaint little town faces the Pacific Ocean and has endless waves ideal for surfing and other water sports activities. To those in the know, it is said that Lanusa has one of the best longboard breaks in the country. It's an excellent surfing alternative to Shiragao. During surf season, the swells range from friendly waves for beginners 
as well as overhead waves for the pros and the kamikazes out there willing to braid them. Take your pick. There's a wave here for every surfer's dream. It's simply a matter of knowing where and when to go. You may just find yourself ripping it up with kilometers of break all to yourself. You really don't need much for this adventure. Just a swimsuit or board shorts, a thin rash guard to protect you from the sun, and a surfboard, which you can usually rent at shops at the main surfing spots. Go ahead, soul surfer. Find your own paradise. The most important thing to take along with you is a bit of time and adventure. And you may find your own idyllic break with no one to drop in on you and steal your solitude. You'll even be surprised at how your mind reaches wider horizons, being immersed in different cultures while pursuing the dream of perfect empty waves and unforgettable surfing in warm water. There's certainly some wisdom oozing out of these waves. As a famous surfer once said, the ocean soothes the soul. The look and the sound and the smell of it will all pick you up no matter what kind of day you are having.